Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. We are in the 31st episode of the series and we have Spandan here with us who has been recently placed at UBS as a part of his campus placement at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to CSC and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7 or 70% in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Spandan and understand his experience interviewing for UBS. So let's get started. Welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you so much Jishnu for call, call, calling me with this channel. Yeah. It means a lot to me, lot to me to be here. Yeah. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm a final year computer science and engineering student from VIT Chennai campus. I I'm a, I have a deep interest in software development and machine learning. On my work front, I have I have interned at Nagasaki University as a research intern. Okay. As well as at Samsung R and D Institute Bangalore. Okay. As a part of the Prism project. Okay. So apart from this, I am here to talk about my UBS interview experience, as we all know. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the uh, placement process, like how many rounds you had and what they comprised of. Yeah, absolutely. So UBS basically came on seventeenth of October this year, okay. and uh, it was pretty late, but I. I would say it was kind of the right right time for me. Hmm. So maybe around that time they asked all of us, like for batches, uh, CSE and all circuit branches, to apply for it. Okay. And but for the test, for the online test, they short shortlisted eight hundred fifty odd people from okay. CSE core only. Oh, okay. Okay. And so after the online test, in which which comprised of basically uh, aptitude MCQs and uh, technical MCQs as hmm. well as one code coding question okay so it was a medium to hard level hmm. but it was manageable you okay. need need not pass all test cases to be qualified at hmm. least for my case it didn't pass all test cases but i qualified for the next round okay uh, and the next day we got an email around 9:40 pm hmm. where we got an information that around 40 people have been shortlisted for the next round of interviews okay. so the first round of interviews was supposed to be uh, on the 19th hmm. so on night night there, there were seven panels and each panel had around four to five interviewees okay. with two interviewers per panel hmm. and my interview was around 11 30 am in the morning hmm. after the first person of my panel was I interviewed okay and in the interview we basically i what i faced was that since i have a java background so they basically started with introduction questions and all the basic stuff and then they started with oops a bit of data structuring algorithms okay dpms hmm. and since i had mentioned java he asked me the differences between java and python right. which one is going to be used where so you need need to be thorough with your basics We're talking about java hmm. and it be you need to be able to ju ju justify right. why you choose java and hmm. not python hmm. and where it's more applicable hmm. so apart from this he asked me about web services apis a few questions on these like i would not say direct questions on what's an api or like that okay. but they would uh, like they asked me a scenario based question like you have a scenario where how would you call the data in a dynamic right. fashion hmm. so you have to answer these questions and apart from that in the end the interview which i got th thankfully was a nice person and he basically didn't want didn't want to rush, <laughs> rush me up right. he took one hour of interview with, with me hmm. and in the end uh, he explained a bit of what i asked him about, about the uh, like the process like hmm. uh, how an intern will work with them right. for the first 6 6 months of their journey hmm. so he went in depth depths of what they do the hmm. tech stack they use right. so i was pretty co confident as to i might get the next round call hmm. and we were told that you might get the hr round call on the on that day itself okay. on, on 19th hmm. but uh, it did not happen like that next day like we were told in the evening that HR calls will be tomorrow, okay. so we weren't sure till that point whether it would be an HR call or would be an HR interview. Okay. So next day we had our CAT exams hmm. and we went for it. And then afternoon we got a message from our coordinator of placements hmm. that we will be having HR calls from now on. Hmm. So around uh, like that day, eight people got, got the call. Like it, it was a basic phone call, hmm. and sh uh, the lady who was on the other side, she said that she's from U UBS. Hmm. and like i think i lost power over here but hmm. 
okay so mm-hmm. as i was saying that uh, since uh, she said that uh, uh, you would like to work at ubs and why and what your like one project you would like to explain right and apart from that like uh, about your relocation interest or not hmm. so these things were mentioned uh, like asked to me hmm. and in the end uh, on that day also we didn't get our results okay but the day after that like on 21st around 2:30 or 3:30 in the afternoon hmm. we got the final like update from college that around like total of 17 people out of the 40 who had gone for interviews hmm. have been selected okay so that, that was a journey in a, i would say i took a lot of time but that, that was it okay that's great thank you so much and congratulations again and thank you so much do you have any suggestions that you want to share for your juniors or for anybody or anything that you learned in the journey that you want to share yeah absolutely like that's the most important thing i feel because hmm. like we end up giving so many interviews and not getting selected and then finally finding right. our dream com- company hmm. so i didn't have a very easy ride hmm. i'm not not a nine pointer like we know a nine pointer hmm. gets most chances in vit hmm. so it's technically fair over it because we have a large hmm. volume of students hmm. so i did have around five six interviews before this hmm. i did not get selected in any of these companies hmm. i went to the last round second last round got rejected right. right like it keeps it keeps happening and then at, at one point of time you feel like hmm. you're not good enough hmm. but then you need, you need to be there and you need to be patient like you need to keep trying hmm. and like in the end i know that vit's reputation would ensure that everyone gets placed and uh, i would suggest that any junior anyone who's trying for placements right now should keep on uh, applying both on campus and off campus because off campus is much more harder to crack because there's plenty of comp- competition out right. there and also on campus you get to learn that it's not always about how good you are Correct. it also comes down to luck as well hmm. so you need to keep that balance there and not be too hard on yourself as why not getting placed right. and be patient i mean some day the chance the day would be yours and you might get the opportunity Correct. so that, that's how i would like sum this up like you need to be there you need to be perseverant throughout the process because it's a journey it's not a sprint right so that's it okay thank you so much thank you for sharing your exp- experience and your suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you thank you so much for having me say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos So please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching